Hi everyone, I'm Jason. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you some AI tools like ChatGPT and what they're capable of. I'm going to share some data for how often students are using them, and I'm going to suggest a few strategies for how we can adapt. But first, let's look at some stats from the recent Time for Class 2024 report on student usage of AI tools. They found that 59% of students are already using these tools regularly, which is quite a bit higher than instructors. And almost half of these students are paying for subscriptions to use advanced models like ChatGPT+. And again, students are much more likely to pay for these models compared to their instructors, where only 13% have a subscription. Now, students aren't just playing around with free tools. They're investing real money into AI for their studies. We really need to pay attention to how fast this is moving. Now, let me show you what these AI tools can do right now. Watch this. I'll take a multiple choice question from a recent quiz, paste it into ChatGPT, and in seconds, it gives a perfect answer. But it's not just simple multiple choice. Check this one out. Here's a complex short answer question asking students to apply prospect theory to analyze human risk behavior. I take a screenshot, paste it into ChatGBT, and it generates an insightful, well-articulated response that smoothly incorporates the course content. This is the kind of work we'd expect from our top students. Now let's really push it. I'm gonna give ChatGBT an entire essay assignment. Here's the assignment sheet with learning objectives, essay requirements, a description of the various sections, and the assignment criteria. And I simply tell it what I want. 2,000 words in the style of top cognitive science journals, well-structured with at least six references. Then I copy and paste the entire assignment sheet. And just like that, ChatGPT delivers a comprehensive essay that meets all of these requirements, complete with properly formatted uh, citations. Now this would take a strong student hours to pull off, but what about assignments that seem impossible for AI to handle, like presentations or videos? Well, let's see. After writing our essay, we can just ask ChatGPT to convert it to a basic description. Now let's head over to Google's AI-powered video creation tool at vids.new We'll paste in our description and let the tool work its magic. It'll give us a preview of the outline. We choose a template and let it process the video. And there we have it, a complete presentation with beautifully designed slides, transitions, complete with stock images and video. And now for the very cool part, we can just click record to teleprompter and it'll bring up a camera, the entire presentation script, which you can just read along with. In this presentation, we will explore the interplay between high stakes decision-making, prospect theory, and cognitive biases. Now you might just think that we can detect and block AI in the student's work, but the data suggest otherwise. When a student submits their work at UQ, Turnitin runs the assignment through an AI detection algorithm, which assigns a score. The problem is that these algorithms currently struggle to reliably detect student essays written using large language models like ChatGPT, and they seem to be biased against non-native English writers. And what about humans? Well, it turns out that Humans can't reliably distinguish between student essays written by LLMs and those written by students. In this recent paper, the researchers secretly submitted 63 exam answers generated entirely by AI to five undergraduate psychology courses. And they found that 94% went undetected by markers. And the AI generated answers averaged half a grade higher than real student submissions. And the problem is, many of these papers tested older models, and the power and sophistication of these models are growing exponentially in terms of computing power for training and inference, the amount of investment into AI hardware like NVIDIA's GPUs, which are designed to meet the growing computational demands of advanced AI, and the explosion of groundbreaking AI research and development. 
AI isn't just a fad. It's a major technological shift that's going to reshape many sectors, including education. So how do we adapt? Here are my suggestions. Assess students' unassisted capabilities through supervised, low-stakes, in-class quizzes and essays. Level the playing field by giving all students access to the best AI tools, just like journals and software. And help students and staff use AI responsibly and effectively. The value and relevance of our programs depend on how well we adapt AI, but I'm confident that we can get it right. Thanks for your time.